Love smarter, not harder. Today's question. Dear Dr. Karen, I'm a huge fan and find your content and advice really helpful. Thank you. I'm in my early 30s, single, and in a good job and financial position. I've been chatting with a man I met online for four and a half months now, prior to the pandemic. We don't live in the same country at the moment, although I am thinking about moving countries in the near future, and I was thinking about this before we met. We text most days, call and video chat once or twice a week, and I feel like we are compatible in many respects. My concern is that he's become a part of my life and my routine, and I'm conscious that we've never met. I'm worried about becoming emotionally attached to him, and I'm aware that there's a limit to how much you can really know about someone from texts and FaceTime chats. We've talked about meeting up and we plan to do it when the pandemic is over. I'd love some advice on this. I'm not sure if I'm crazy to carry on with this and think that something could come of it, especially as we don't know when the pandemic will be over. I'm concerned that the longer it goes on, the more attached I'll get. So I think this is a case of where you would love to have information that currently you just can't have. Part of dating is gathering that information and you've been at it for four and a half months and you're like, I know I'm gonna get more and more attached, but you can't meet up right now because of the pandemic. So what's the choice? The choice is to either cut it off and be like, no, but why would you do that when you're enjoying your time with him and there's a chance that it could work out? You know, right now, you started this before the pandemic and because you guys are in different countries, you have this reality, but actually pretty much everyone right now who's meeting anyone, even if the person lives like the next town over or the next street over, they're pretty much in the same boat because we're not able to see each other in, in uh, face to face. So everyone is essentially in the same situation. And what I'm encouraging people to do is kind of keep a holding pattern right now, because I think when you're connecting like this and you guys probably are just connecting with each other, but for other people who may be connecting, like you may be talking to a couple different guys or a guy may be talking to a couple, couple different women. And it just makes sense to continue to explore and get to know different people, or in your case, to continue to get to know this gentleman and kind of maintain a holding pattern right now. Because one of the things that I'm, you know, I did a post today about it. We are, no one is normal right now. Like this, this is unprecedented. These are very bizarre circumstances. And to try to make a major decision about a relationship right now just doesn't seem like the right time to make a major decision about a relationship because none of us is operating from our normal skill set and our normal psychological functioning. And so I've just been recommending, like I said, a holding pattern, just kind of, I would just say continue to get to know him. There's, there's really no harm. Yeah, you're gonna continue to get more attached, but you already had a nice foundation established. And what if you do keep getting more attached? And you said you were thinking about moving anyway. I wouldn't recommend that you move to another country for a guy that you certainly haven't met yet. But I mean, if you guys met a couple times and had some visits and it seemed like a, a good fit and things were going well, you were already planning on moving anyway. I would never recommend moving to another city for a guy much less another country, but if you already had that plan in place, then it's still about you moving for you. And that was something that you wanted to do for your own personal adventure or growth and development, whatever. And if he happens to be there, that's different. You could move for yourself, which would also allow you to be, to see this guy more frequently, as long as it's you're moving for yourself, just because I want you to protect yourself. And like I said, I wouldn't encourage someone to move to another city for a guy just for a guy, unless you were engaged and you know, you would definitely committed and you had a future together. But yeah, I mean, I just don't see any reason to, to not continue. You're enjoying him and you're getting to know him. I think that you're trying to protect your heart, which is understandable, but we can't fully protect our heart or our emotions when we're dating. There's a risk involved always. And it just, again, it sounds to me like you're, you know, you're very accomplished. You've got a good job and you're in good financial position and many women like you, and I, I think that many of the women in my community are like this, where you know, we think through things and we're driven and we're determined and we are goal oriented. And so we want to control our love lives the way we've controlled our education or our career path. And I talk about that, about that in the first chapter of my book, that so often we wanna control <laughs> love, which is not completely in our control. So my recommendation is just to carry on and, um, 
Yeah, and when the pandemic lifts, we don't know when it'll lift, but when it does, and then you guys can have a chance to meet in real life and see how that feels. And again, you don't have to make a big decision then just because you've been texting and video chatting for for several months and then you guys meet up and see how that feels. Again, that's not a major decision either. Just I would just recommend that you just kind of enjoy it and see what happens and um, resist the urge to feel like you have to have it all sorted out because that, that's part of dating is we don't know. It's frustrating because we want to like, I want to know if this is going to happen or if it's not, but we can't. So um, I hope that's helpful.